Hi, my name's Chris York. I'm the Managing News Editor at Kyiv Post. And today we are going to be explaining what exactly is a double tap strike. Nine people were killed and dozens more were injured on Monday, August the 7th, after two Russian missiles hit the eastern Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk. Many of those killed and wounded were emergency service workers who raced to the scene of the first explosion. Around 40 minutes after the first attack, a second missile struck the building. This is a deliberate strategy often employed by the Kremlin and is known as a double tap strike. The double tap strike is a military tactic in which a specific location is targeted with two separate attacks. An initial strike followed by a second strike after a short period of time. The first strike serves to hit the target area and cause the initial destruction. The second strike aims to target individuals who rush to the scene to provide aid or assess the situation after the initial attack. This can include emergency responders, medical personnel, journalists and bystanders who are drawn to the site to assist those affected by the first attack. A double tap strike is illegal under international law, regardless of whether or not the first strike hit a civilian or a military target, as the second strike is aimed at targeting specifically medical responders and civilians, it is contrary to the Geneva Conventions. This was far from the first use of double tap strikes by the Kremlin's forces. They honed the technique in Syria during 12 years of war, fighting on the side of President Bashar al-Assad. The Syria Justice and Accountability Center investigated the usage patterns of this tactic. Their findings indicate that these double tap strikes were carried out with the intention of causing harm to civilians and objects protected by international humanitarian law, rather than solely targeting identifiable enemy targets. Three main criteria were assessed to see if a double tap strike had occurred in Syria. The initial strike location, the arrival of first responders or civilians afterwards, and at least one subsequent attack on the same location within an hour. Based on these criteria, investigators found at least 58 incidences of double tap strikes in Syria between 2013 and 2021. Almost all of these incidences occurred in civilian residential areas. The exact number of double tap strikes carried out by Russian forces in Ukraine is difficult to assess due to the ongoing hostilities, but there are some notable examples. On March 1st, 2022, Russian forces launched a missile attack on a government building in Kharkiv's Freedom Square. A short while later, when rescuers were trying to help the people inside, another rocket hit the same building. This incident resulted in the death of at least 10 people and many more were injured. President Zelensky at the time called it a war crime and state terrorism. On April 17th, 2022, a double tap strike was recorded by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation. A team was following a local Red Cross unit when Russian missiles hit a building nearby. After the Red Cross workers, paramedics and Ukrainian troops rushed in to help, another missile struck the same building again. As ABC reported at the time, this incident led to the deaths of five people. More recently, on July 21st, 2023, Russian forces carried out an attack on the Odessa region. A spokeswoman for the Ukrainian military said Russia fired two rounds of missiles at grain terminals, one after the other, describing it as a double tap strike. Earlier this month, on the 3rd of August, Russian forces launched multiple missiles at Kherson, some of which struck a church in the city. As emergency workers tried to put out the fire in the church, another Russian missile hit, injuring four people. Despite widespread international condemnation, Russia continues to use double tap strikes in Ukraine, just one of numerous war crimes and terrorist acts committed by the Kremlin's forces. This is Chris York for Kyiv Post. Uh, for more explainers, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media or check out our website.